It was a foggy start for most of us this morning. A beautiful picture. Air Curtain captured this down the main drag in Port Washington. That lowered visibility showing up on satellite as well. Really impressive here in southeastern Wisconsin with visibilities down to about a quarter mile or less. So that's what all this white stuff is around southeastern Wisconsin. But that fog really showing up along the Mississippi River and across some of those Wisconsin River valleys. You can even tell really in the satellite picture that high definition of where the fog was because typically fog forms in low lying areas, at least radiation fog does. And that's what we had last night. That's what we're expecting overnight tonight. What exactly do we need for that? Well, the main ingredients, you have to have a clear sky. We eventually had that last night. You also have to have very calm winds. We had that and we've got that again tonight. And when you got the temperature falling very close to the dew point, you've got this fog that starts in some of those low lying areas and then that cloud will start to expand and rise a little bit. This was a very shallow fog that we had this morning. It's kind of what we're expecting overnight tonight as well. So how exactly does fog form? Well, you've got these water molecules and they are moving slowly enough that they will actually bump into little dust and dirt particles and they're actually attracted to tiny little airborne particles in our air. They attach to those and that's when that water will condense forming that cloud on the ground, which is what we call fog.